So, researchers at UCF are combining the cutting edge technology of augmented reality with the need for medical students to get more hands on training. As Channel 9's anchor Jamie Holmes shows us, that is just the beginning of what UCF is doing to research on how far augmented reality can actually take us. Ouch. Poor Joe. He's got the measles. So you can talk with the patient, you can have a free conversation with the patient, you can touch the patient and the patient would react back to you. Joe is just part of some of the high-tech augmented reality work going on at UCF. You can move Joe's eyelids or lips, even feel his warm skin to tell whether he has a fever. And if you talk to him... You open your mouth and uh, say, ah. Uh. Uh. Joe is designed to give med students a young patient they can truly interact with. This is augmented reality, which is combining the real world with virtual reality. So a lot of what we're doing here is connecting those two worlds so that you feel something that is also changing virtually. And Joe is just part of the augmented reality research going on here. Katie, come back. Good. Here I am. This is AR Alexa, just like the one you talked to, but now she's become virtual, interacting with you in real space. She'll walk around doing what you need, like dimming the lights. You can interact with this virtual human instead of voice command to, to the uh, digital assistant. There's also research into how we feel about interacting with these virtual beings. This is an augmented reality dog you can take anywhere. And researchers found test subjects were angry or upset when the virtual dog was stepped on or kicked by real people, even if it was just by mistake. Mistake. Some of this is just research. Some of it, like Joe, has already scored patents that could eventually go to market. But for now, it is part of what UCF researchers are doing to bring augmented reality into reality. The opportunity to be a part of that engine of everybody working together from the individual up to the university, to the central region, to the state, to try and make these things happen. And it's pretty exciting. In Orlando, Jamie Holmes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.